Hi, so welcome to the first ever Life with Pigs Adorable. This is going to be amazing. Lots of uh, anticipation for this big day. We've got a great lineup. The way the game's going to work is uh, each species will be working together as a team separately and they'll have their own goals and they'll have to work together to really you know push that ball across the goal line so teamwork is going to be really really important here yeah and each team will have a set of cones that represents their goal so it should be pretty obvious where the the goal line is um, but we will be sure to let everyone know what's going on but you've also got um, one team who's a little larger, the cones were not big enough, so we have a set of barrels for the cows that they're going to be trying to cross today. When they get it past their, their goalpost, that is going to be a point, and so each point will lead them closer to victory. Um, whoever has the highest score will win. I think a lot of people are thinking the cows are going to dominate this, you know, the power, the skill. We wanted to make sure there wasn't any bias towards the cows. Um, in this competition today, so we made sure that you know someone else is going to be keeping score, and it's just going to be totally based on the animals' uh, skill and drive and teamwork today. So uh, I'm really excited to see what these uh, fierce competitors are going to bring today. Should we introduce our lineup? Yeah. So I'm going to let you do that because I know them so well that I feel like I'll just cruise through it too fast. So I'm going to let you do the. Absolutely. So we've got an amazing lineup. Uh, first up, we've got the Bovine Battalion, uh, Jenna and Maisie, just a really strong, dominating force on the field. After that, we've got the Porcine Posse. The pigs kind of, you know, we're not really sure what they're gonna bring today. Sometimes they're, you know, feeling pretty lazy. They just wanna kind of hang out and eat snacks. And well, and the, and the field is covered in their kryptonite, which is basically their, their plate. It's got grass on it. They can either play the game or do their favorite thing, which is, Eat. Eat. Yeah. So, so so we'll see. We'll see what they're gonna bring. And then we've got the canine commanders who, you know, I think are really strong in uh in their drive and their, you know, level of excitement. They can, you know, keep themselves from being too distracted by squirrels, cars, you know, people. Um, you know, Polly likes to, you know, put an end to any fun that's going on. So, you know, we'll we'll have to see what they're gonna bring today. So We'll see what they do. Finally, we have the Wing Warriors um, who you know, have a strong drive for food. So hopefully they can channel some of that food energy that they would normally put into, you know, finding snacks and scratch and uh, really, you know, drive that ball across the goal line. Yeah, this is just an exhibition. This isn't going to change our view of communism in Russia. <laughs> Rocky Four <laughs> reference. Like. Okay. Right. They didn't quite catch that. They didn't quite catch that. So. All right, up first, we've got the Bovine Battalion. Mm -hmm. Some might say they're the predicted winners of this, but we're just going to have to see. Um, on the Bovine Battalion is Jenna. She's a uh, two-year-old Holstein calf. Uh, was rescued from the dairy industry at three days old and has lived with life with pigs ever since. And uh, Maisie, who is uh, about one and a half, was also rescued from the dairy industry and uh, came here to be Jenna's best friend, and she is. <laughs> oh, we got some fancy camera work going on here at the Adorable. There's Elvis. And, oh, wait, here we come up on Maisie. The bovine battalion has just kicked off, and it seems Jenna is on the move. And things have slowed down a bit. It seems they are inspecting what's. Oh, oh. Ooh, that horn looked painful. Yeah, Jenna's gonna have to watch that. We don't want a, a penalty on the field that could cost them the game. Well, that was some fancy ball work. Did you see that? I don't know where she learned that. I never taught her any of this. Oh. oh, second horn. No, no call. The refs are not going to call that. Weird. Apparently, uh, Quincy is just not paying attention. Oh, Jenna is slowly moving it up. Oh, she passes to Maisie. I was not oh. expecting that after the horn. It's a little disappointing. Maisie really didn't take it anywhere, but Jenna's got the ball oh, back. Oh, man. She's moving towards she the ball. She is going to. Oh, oh she decided oh, it was time for another horn. Oh, Maisie's starting to step it oh, up a little oh, bit. Yep. Oh. oh, she went the wrong way with it. Wait, what is Jenna doing? She seems angry. She's she's just knocked over the barrel. Jenna. It oh, seems that she has been wow. ejected. They have disqualified. disqualified. Oh my goodness, the bovine battalion is out of the running to win, and Jenna is furious. And I bet oh. she's furious with the ref. Wait, she's she's following behind the ref. What's happening here? Somebody needs to get down there and help that ref. Maybe they shouldn't use carrots as their flag. 
Yeah, definitely using carrots as a flag was a bad idea. Oh, I hope that guy's okay. Next up, we've got the Porcine Posse, and they are gonna wow us, uh, starting with Pumpkin at nine years old, Charlotte coming in at four years old, and Pumpkin's baby, and Millie, who is three years old, uh, creeping up on her fourth birthday, and they are sure to put on a show. Let's, let's go there now. Well, after that display by the Bovine Battalion, it won't be hard for the Porcine Posse to outdo them on at least sportsmanship, but we've got the Pigs running down the field. Charlotte's Kick on the way. Happened. Oh, wow. That is some real snout control on the field. And Millie seems to be walking around aimlessly, but maybe there's a plan. Oh, Pumpkin is uh, digging up a rock. Does she know that's not a ball? I don't think she knows how this game works, but they've got Charlotte on the move. Charlotte seems to know exactly oh. what to do. And we've got ourselves the first score of the game. Wow, that was impressive. That was fast. Charlotte was really on top of that. Charlotte is taking a well-deserved break for snack, and she's back oh. at it again, taking that ball. Oh, We're such all slowing down a little bit here. <laughs> it's like a slow motion live. Is she gonna get it? Oh, there's a second goal of the game already. Two goals by Charlotte. With 13 seconds left, can she pull off a trifecta? Oh, I think she's the... going to. Yeah, and Pumpkin seems to be want to want to get in on this action. Millie seems to have absolutely no idea what's going on, but that's okay. She's sure cute. Yes, cuteness is the factor here. Up next, we've got the K9 Commanders. Now, this is a, a fan favorite. Everyone's really excited to see them. Uh, on that team, we've got Fiona, uh, who is five years old, and then uh, Polly, who is eight years old, and the fun police Chihuahua. Um, she's going to make sure that no one is having too much fun on the field today. And then uh, Odin, who is five years old and uh, is a cute little guy, but he's got some really fierce teeth. So we're excited to see what they're gonna bring. And the canine commanders are ready to go. Look at those tails wagging. We're trying the old puppy dog eye trick to get points. It's not gonna work in this game. And Fiona is already running. Oh, she is out of bounds. Oh. Odin's hoping, again, the puppy dog guys. It is just not going to pull them through. Yep, Fiona is back in the game. She's trying to make sure that toy's ready. Oh, look at that pass. Odin He got it. some air. He really did. Oh, again with the puppy dog eyes. Oh, Fiona's going for it. Oh, out of bounds. They just don't quite know where those goals are. Oh, the ref's going to call it. That was a foul stealing from your own team. Can you believe that? Right from under her tail. Oh, Odin. All right, well, Fiona's going to try to make up for lost ground here. She's prancing down the field. Oh, out and of bounds. That was as far as she planned to go, I guess. Yep. All right, 15 seconds left. Oh, we're going to go to the penalty box. Odin's looking awfully <laughs> the, cute in the there. The puppy dog guys again, hoping to get out of there. Oh! <laughs> Polly is just not interested today in this game. She's really uh, not. Fiona's <laughs> passing her the, the ball and just not having it. Right? Oh, Odin is frustrated. Is There's no score for that team. Disappointment. So the final team in the first half here is going to be the Winged Warriors. And on this team, we're featuring Elton coming into age two and the duo of Talia and Tallulah, both two years old, who escaped a factory farm together, and they are going to show what they're made of. And here we are with the final team of the first half, the Winged Warriors. they got a big lead to catch up on. They do. They have to score at least three goals in order to be ahead of the Porcine Posse. And Talia's near oh, the goal. Oh, Talia! First goal of the game by Talia. That, that was game. pretty amazing beak work there. Oh, Elton's coming in to help out his teammates here. I don't know if they realize, but they do not have a ball. <laughs> no, there's oh. one hit them. He just there can't see it. <laughs> yeah, don't. Oh, oh, the crowd is going crazy. We have a celebrity in the audience strutting his stuff. It is Quincy and his lady Tia who are very excited about this game. As you can see, they are cheering on their friends, the Winged Warriors. And you don't get seats like that without having some real money. That's right, or connections. You know? Oh, I think we have another skull. Yes, we do. Let's see that one again. Oh, look at this oh. footwork by Tallulah. That is yeah. impressive. Very impressive. Oh, look at that kick. There we go. Two goals already. What a game. Ten seconds left. 
Will they be able to take the lead over the Porcine Posse? That remains to be seen, but we've got five seconds here, and it appears that eating spinach is going to be the trick. All right, total score of two for this round. All right, going into halftime, the score stands at Winged Warriors at two, Porcine Posse at two, Canine Commander zero, and the Bovine Battalion has been disqualified. Oh, well, that was an amazing first half here. I like, I didn't see this coming. Yeah. Um, the the upset of the bovine battalion being disqualified for unsportsman. So many surprises. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna kick you out of the game, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Scorekeeper. Um, yeah, no one saw that coming. The you know Jenna would lose her cool because they just weren't able to cross that finish line. It looks like it's coming down to the winged warriors versus the porcine posse. Um, yeah, unless the canine commanders can really bring it in the second half, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. But for now, we have the moment everyone's been waiting for. This is gonna blow your minds in a way that you may or may not like. I don't know, but it is going to blow your minds. We had the weekend scheduled, but at the last minute. Tesla and Sassy came through and decided that they were going to do our halftime show. So to our, our apologies to The weekend for not being able to have him on. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. This, this is going to be amazing. Yeah. All right, here we go. That was an amazing halftime show. I don't know about you, but you know, I, I'm gonna be thinking about that for years to come. I think it was um, better than the Janet Jackson halftime show. No yeah. wardrobe malfunction. See, that's how you do it. You just go feathers and fur. That yeah. way there's no room for air. Start naked, yeah. nothing can go wrong. The second half is about to begin. And before we get started, we're gonna go to the field of the disqualified bovine battalion where something we did not expect it appears that Jenna is trying to make amends, um, which, you know, her motto is horn hard, love harder. And she's showing that she really lives by her words. Let's go there now. Oh, it seems things are going a little differently now. Aww. And the crowd is loving it. That's so sweet. Look at those two making up. Looks like Jenna's apologizing for her bad behavior earlier, for her little outburst that she had. And she had some outbursts with those horns, and I'm not sure if the ref's gonna make it, but yeah, they've, they've come together as a team and people are really applauding their, their change of heart. Yeah, the crowd's really loving that. And, you know, it's shocking. Everyone expected that these guys were the definite front runners, but, you know, who, who would have anticipated it would turn out like this? Yeah, from that first kick to, you know, the knocking over of the barrels to the, you know, chasing of the ref. And now they're walking off into the sunset. We're going to go back to the Porcine Posse with uh, Pumpkin, Charlotte, and Millie and see if they can uh, step it up and uh, win this game over the Winged Warriors. You want amped up for the game? You ready to show what you can do? All right, Charlotte's on the way down the field to see if she can take the lead over the Winged Warriors and she... She's stuck in a mud puddle there. Oh, she got out. Yeah. Now she's drinking out of the mud puddle. Where is Millie? What is she doing? Nobody knows. Oh, Pumpkin yeah. comes in. She said, let mom take the lead. Nice pass for Charlotte there. Passes right back to her daughter who seems to be distracted now. She was really showing her A game in the first round and I think she's lost it. Well, she's a little more focused on eating this time. Oh, and Pumpkin is taking a very well-deserved water break right now. Hmm, that's an interesting water hole that she has found. What is Millie doing right now? She's blocking Charlotte from Oh no, she's going in for an assist. Oh dear. Um, it, oh, and Charlotte seems to be distracted by the same thing. Oh wait, Charlotte is going to try in the last 10 seconds here to put them ahead of the winged warriors. Can she do it? Alright, that's not clear what Millie's doing, but Charlotte oh, manages to push it across at the very last second. All right, we're here with the team captain from the Bovine Battalion who actually got them disqualified, but showing her true character. She came around and apologized to her teammate, Maisie, um, and her best friend for uh, costing them the game. Um, she 
you know, she gets worked up. She horns hard, but she, she loves harder, and she really showed that. Do you have anything you'd like to say to your fans? Yeah, I think that says it all. So, back to you. Now we're going to take you back to the Canine Commanders in their second half. They are going to have to astound us with a four-point comeback um, if they're going to hope to be here in the winner's circle. Um, you know, I... I think they can do it. It's just going to take them coming together and maybe Polly having a little fun. I don't know. Like, we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, the K-9 Commanders are up again. They're going to need to score four goals in order to uh, take the lead on the Porcine Posse. Well, if Tailwagon was a way to score goals, they would be winning this one for sure. A real happy team. Just don't let Polly see that. <laughs> oh, Odin is amped. He is ready to go. Someone needs to tell him this is not Quidditch. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh, she missed an incomplete pass. No, oh, that was a deadly move on Polly's part. I've seen her take on a cow before, so <laughs> it's not surprising. Yeah, so that was a call for unsportsmanlike conduct, which that definitely was on Polly's part. She's looking a little guilty there. Oh, poor Odin. She's really demotivated her team. They seem to be feeling a little bit like they can't just enjoy themselves. Oh, she's in the penalty box now, so they're free to do what they want. And that was a fantastic catch by Fiona. Oh, she's going. She's going. Is she going to make it? She did it. She passed happily to the goal. And she's going for another one? Oh, barely out of bounds. She's going to uh, bury that toy, it looks like, and just missed it on the instant oh, replay. There it is. A, that was just a toenail. Just oh. a hair off of scoring another goal. Polly is not impressed. She is not impressed. She heard happiness was happening there. They've got five seconds. They might be able to. Oh, Fiona loves that camera. Like that's more important to her than scoring another goal for the team. And she's happy that he wasn't gored to death by the, the bovine battalion's little outburst earlier. Oh, that's going to come join. Well, these guys sure had fun. Now we're back for our final round of the second half with the Winged Warriors, who are going to really have to bring the A game in order to uh, beat the Porcine Posse here. Um, they're definitely a fan favorite. Uh, the crowd seem to be just going wild. The turkeys are uh, clearly very excited and very into this game. So um, let's see what happens in this final round. Here we are, the final round of the second half with the Winged Warriors. This is their last chance to take the lead over the Corson Posse. They're going to need to score at least two goals in order to do that this game. It's, it's looking promising for them. They are at least circling the, the ball, yeah, so that's they're, good. They're in the vicinity close. of it, uh, except for Elton. He's eating more spinach. He is looking pretty, though. Yep. Oh, uh, Tallulah's oh. running down the field. Oh, oh, out of bounds. That was close. That was close. The Talia is really playing it up with the crowd there. Oh, we have uh, Jenna from the Bovine Battalion taking a little water break here, one of the other Trying competitors. to cool down after you know, some heated incidents oh, oh my oh, unsportsmanlike conduct right there some inner team fighting and the refs called that one Tallulah is not having it with her teammates today nope, they are uh, now sitting out looking at themselves in the mirror and oh Devorah and Wisha come off well, the bench this is a surprise out. I did not see this coming no yeah. Devorah and Wish um, had you know, been practicing in secret, but... Oh, oh, oh two seconds left. Let's, uh, let's see that one again, shall we? Look at this time running out. You've got Wish in front, and Devorah oh, knocks it, it in. It's just high with the porcine posse. That was amazing. Oh, the crowd is really loving this. Quincy got his money worth. Yep. Oh, and Elton is furious that he was not part of their catching up with the Porcine Posse. Well, that is amazing. We ended with a tie. The Winged Warriors at three, the Porcine Posse at three, the Canine Commanders with one, and the Bovine Battalion still disqualified. So you can hear the sirens going off around us. People are celebrating. It's wild. It's um, wild. But the thing is, we don't actually have a winner yet because we resulted in a tie here and so what we had to do is actually go back years and years for the love of god sorry so we had to go back years and years to the original rule book what we found is that in the event of a tie um the winner will be the team that has the least penalties um, and that, in this case, is going to be the Porcine Posse. So even though, yeah. 
the, the winged warriors are, are pretty upset about this. You know, we had to kind of let them know gently. Maybe I mean, you should talk to your team about watching their penalties. Yeah, it's, it's true. So, you know, uh, so the winged warriors had one penalty and the porcine posse were actually the only team of the entire adorable to not have any penalties. So uh, very surprising. They were really able to come together and work as a team. Uh, you know, Charlotte really. You, you know, watch your mouth. That is not okay. We are Sorry, live you here. You we are live here. You great. I mean, the Wayne Warriors really, really, proud really of brought it. I mean, especially with, you know, Devora and Wish coming in at the end like that, um, to really, you know, step it up and, and come off the bench like that and help their team was just, you know, was so impressive. I mean, she had a, a goal with just three seconds left in the game. I mean, it was amazing. But the rules are the rules, and the Adorable can only have one winner. So uh, the winner is the going to be the Porcine Posse. Congratulations to the Porcine Posse. So hopefully we can get um, the the MVP of this game, which they've just announced, goes to, yes, you guessed it. It's not you. I know you want it to be you, you awesome, but it's LT. not. He you were awesome. awesome. He was awesome. But no, it's going to Charlotte for her just inability to keep that ball out of the goal. Yeah. I mean, it was, it yeah, was all amazing. All the goals were scored by her. Yep, yeah. she had three the entire game. Millie had a really good assist. You Elton know, is not going to let this go. Um, he is furious. Yeah, he's, he's not going to let it go. Elton, we're going to do this again next year, okay? Yeah. You guys got a whole year Train to your team. Yep. Talk to them about biting each other's cones. Yeah. I know. I mean, we know it wasn't your fault, and it's not fair. We know. Yeah, Elvis, really you're right. Good. They did Everyone's lose, and they need really to accept it. Everyone's going to do we need to call security? Like, I, I'm getting a little worried here. Yeah. There's a lot of emotions are running really high. This was a really intense game. All of the players worked really hard. We're so proud of them. There wasn't a single animal that really didn't you know give us a hundred percent so um yeah. you know but there's there's one winner and then there's going to be you know next year the year after that and the year after that so they can all you know have their shot again next year yeah. so all right let's see if we can get charlotte to come have a little interview porcine posse is taking a well-deserved rest after their big game today they are worn out and understandably so Charlotte, our MVP, looking very pleased with herself, very relaxed. Is it everything you dreamed it would be, being the world champion? Like, there are many that are saying this is a bigger accomplishment than winning the Super Bowl. Some have referred to you as the Brady Pig. Was it worth it? Was all the training and all the, you know, effort that you put in? Yeah. And would you do anything differently? Well, there you have it. It seems like Charlotte is really proud of her accomplishments. And you think next year you guys will be able to pull off a, a repeat? Yeah, so I think we're good to go. <laughs> Congratulations, we love you. You know, there's always next year for the other teams. I think the Bovine Battalion stands a real chance of learning from their mistakes and, and working together next year. And Jenna can keep it all in check. But keep those strong bovine emotions in check. She's just really spirited. She just feels yeah. a lot. You know, she's really passionate, and I think that just really came out today. You know, and she just kind of lost her cool. But you know, she's young. She's got another year to really practice and you know, be ready to be bring it next year. So, and thanks for watching the first uh, adorable. Um, we are uh, also doing a fundraiser where the animals are raising money for a good cause as well. Uh, it's Fill Your Bowl February. So the animals are trying to raise $1,000 to uh, meet their uh, food budget this month, which is, let's be honest, mostly uh, the cows, uh, a little bit of the sheep now, but um, there is a fundraiser uh, below in the comments uh, if you'd like to donate towards that and uh, help the animals reach their goal. So thanks for watching the first ever Life with Pigs, adorable. And we'll see you next year.